Here they were working on real problems, and no one had ever done this before. You know, how, how do you build a health app for a cow? So this is the uh, this is the feed alley, and then these are just the different pens the cows are in. So they had an idea to mount cameras throughout the barn, and those cameras would be able to use the photo identification technology to you'd enter the cow's ID number, and it would be able to find her wherever she is in the barn. The critical thing is that if you can recognize the cow first, and then you can identify a change in behavior of the animal that then there would be an alert system that would indicate to the farmer that there's a specific animal that needs attention. We also uh, had the rough equivalent of Fitbits for the cows. Uh, we were getting data about their movements and, and, and activity patterns of other kinds. There's information on how they're eating and what they're choosing to eat in, uh, how, much, how much liquid they're drinking during the day. If you're looking for a certain cow, instead of having to walk the entire pen and come back looking for one cow, then you'd be able to say, oh, like even just generally where she is, you can just head that direction and find her. That's a very uh, useful application, especially on larger dairies where they have larger pen sizes. Facial recognition or identification of animals is very important because uh, farmers need to know who their cows are. And currently, uh, it's done through ear tags or RFID technologies, which are not always great. I mean, they, they have issues. Uh, one of the potential benefits would be to not have to place uh, any sort of uh, device for identification of the animal, but just do it non-invasively. I think it's important that this is not seen like, you know, our students are creating all these new technologies that didn't exist before, and that, you know, these things are already there. The algorithms that are being used or are going to be used are improving all the time and that's where I think that there's a lot of potential for right, right. computer mm -hmm. scientists to continue help us develop better algorithms, more efficient ways of using the data. The technology is not a rigid thing, it's a, it's a tool to solve real problems. This technology is not that far off and it's up and coming and it's cool being a part of it too.